Not All right, let's, right let's talk about sleep in the middle of this pandemic. We know it's it's important, right? But yeah. For sure. I mean, so for so many of us, I think sleep is hard to come by right now. I know it is for me. Earlier this year, the World Economic Forum found stress and uncertainty about the pandemic is keeping people up. Sleep habits are being disrupted with people going to bed later, maybe not setting the alarm for the morning, maybe not having to be head to work that early or have that commute. And a dream survey done by Harvard Medical School found people are having terrifying and vivid dreams. Anyone experiencing that, uh, Mike or Jason? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I have bad sleep anyway. I change my wake up time because of my work schedule by four hours every week. I've been doing that for 12 years. It, uh, it gets old and it definitely takes an impact. But even with that said, I for sure have been having more bad dreams uh, hmm. about family members, even yeah. though my family is safe and healthy. I think it's just stress related. And I wake up in the middle of the night and can't get back to sleep. So I wonder if I should try music. Music is one thing that some of the research and some of the studies are saying can work. Uh, and I think people have different luck with falling asleep to music, right? I mean, uh, one of the challenges is that I think that people tend to play their music on their phone. And when you have your phone right by your bed, then you've got uh, temptation to go check uh, do some doom scrolling to make yourself feel even worse uh, going through Twitter. <laughs> but a study showed that relaxing music can uh, have a direct effect on the parasympathetic nervous system, which is my favorite of the nervous systems. It helps the body relax and get ready for sleep. <laughs> So, so if you You're listen, a very nervous guy, so you know your nervous, nervous system. <laughs> yes. I do, yes. yes. Yeah. 45 minutes of relaxing music before bed makes a difference, I guess. You know, I think it sounds like something that I'll try after hearing this because yeah. I've been having trouble sleeping like you, Mike. I've had some interesting dreams. Mm -hmm. I fall asleep, I wake back up, and what will get me back? Maybe something's a little bit more soothing. I've been trying to stay mm -hmm. off my phone before going to bed, which I never used to do. Um, but maybe music will be the key. Is there a certain kind of I music have a that speaker relaxes you? Well, I feel like, you know, the meditation well, I was gonna say, music, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff without words. You don't want to get mm. caught up singing while you're trying to fall asleep, <laughs> right? Yeah. I feel like at the end of yoga, the shavasana, when I'm laying down, like I always fall asleep for that 60 seconds or two minutes or whatever it is. So, and they play that calming music. So if that can make me fall asleep that fast, then maybe at night too. Could work for people. Something else that par paradoxically I've sort of had a little bit of luck with is when I'm laying awake and I can't fall back to sleep, I literally think, okay, I need to stay awake. And that focusing, I think, really on any one thought can help clear your mind mm -hmm. of whatever's keeping you awake. But, they, but I have had some success thinking, I have to stay awake, I have to stay awake, I have to stay awake, and then I immediately fall asleep. So yeah. I don't know why that oh, works or how yeah. it works, but I recommend just from a being perpetually tired. It's very effective. At that also that helps. Works yeah. I was going to say. All right, Mike. From a chronically the, uh... bad sleeper, take that with a grain of salt, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't suppose, know. Yeah. Uh,